Hey guys, what is up? It is Lake here coming at you with another video. Now today I'm going to be showing you the best Android emulator for PC in my opinion. Um, now this will work for games or any other applications you would like to do. So as you can see it is called Nox. I will leave a link in the description. Um, Nox App Player. Um, just look it up if you don't get the link. It will be the pretty much first one. Now first boot will take a little longer obviously. But first, let's show you some of the um, onboard settings once this loads up. Um, so the onboard settings for this, really cool. Um, you can run on startup root, so you can have a root. Um, I'll actually turn that on. Um, you can have root access. Actually, I'll turn it off because it'll make me restart. But you have root access. Um, you can um, add performance, so you can change it. To, uh, I have default settings on. Um, change it to any one of these uh, how many CPU uh, cores you want to dedicate how much RAM um, as you can see you turn it up you can change it and customize it you just change um, but I'll just keep it default for now now it can be either a tablet or a phone um, you can change uh, sp uh, to DirectX or OpenGL uh, change the resolution of your tablet change between phone or whatever type of settings you'd like you can change the manufacturer, the model, the phone number, or the IMEI. So we can just create whatever IMEI, um, which is really cool. Shortcuts, uh, this is all the types of things you can do with the commands uh, on your keyboard. An interface is just all these type of uh, positions and all these buttons on the side here. Um, that makes this thing actually pretty cool. So let me just uh, make this a little bit bigger for you guys. Um, because I want to keep that sidebar there for you. So um, let me just uh, drop this too for a second. Um, sorry about that. Okay guys, so basically um, we have a full featured Android emulator complete with a browser and it does work as you can see. The buttons are down here. Um, we have a Facebook. We have uh, any app you can download from the Play Store which is amazing. Um, it's mostly dedicated for gaming. Um, I think camera will work if you have a webcam that's compatible. Unfortunately, mine is not. We have a file manager down here, which is the Synergen Mod file manager, because this is a Synergen Mod firmware, I think. Um, we have downloads, gallery, and settings. Now, I want to show you some really cool things that makes this very interesting for the whole process, um, or just to have this that makes it very good for development and a lot of other things. Um, you actually um, have a T-Mobile um, base so I think you can change that too as you can see we actually do have a fake carrier signal um, which would be great for app development um, to work with a f uh, carrier and all that with the fake IMEI that we do have um, display um, you can change a lot of things with this so basically you get a full featured Android um, with security and all you have built-in super user, um, which can be enabled if you root, uh, do the root setting. Um, and if we go to this about this tablet, it reads as a Nexus 5. We're on 4.4.2. Um, also, we have a build number, and we have all the different types of things um, that you would come to expect from an Android emulator. And I'm pretty sure you can always update this <coughs> to the latest version. Um, you just might have to look a little bit to mod that. Um, but as you can see, everything is fully pretty much identical to a real Android tablet and performance can be increased as you'd like it. Also, any apps from here, um, we do have a sponsor app here, um, which is kind of, you know, just how they make money, which is totally acceptable for bringing you such a great product for your PC for practically free. Um, so let's just do go over the side here. Um, we have a shake, uh, which comes useful in a lot of apps. We have, um, <clears throat> as you can see, if you download the Pokemon Go app, um, basically what you can do is um, have a movable for uh, direction control. So basically, if you have Pokemon Go, you drag this down, and you could actually use that um, as Pokemon Go um, to move it. Um, we have GPS, a walking keyboard control, which means we do this. Um, as you can see, if I pressed... Uh, W and all that stuff. Um, it shows the speed you can change if you're biking or whatever. Um, 
all that type of good stuff. Um, and uh, you can change that, so that's good for Pokemon Go uh, spoofing if you're into that. Um, also, you can do a lot of different things with this um, right there, that bar. So it stacks up. Now we do have a cut uh, or screen capture, sorry, a screen capture for doing tutorials and virtual location. Choose any virtual location in the world that you would like. Um, got the whole world here. Say I just went to, I don't know, New York or something. Uh, just drop it. You know, we're in Jersey, I guess. But <laughs> uh, you go to New Jersey and, um, and that's how you would basically be put in the game. Now, um, next we have my computer. Full screen, but I wanted to show you this bar. So that's why I kept it up. Um, volume, volume up, volume down volume plus, volume minus, or volume up, down. Um, add APK file, so if you do download an APK file offline, um, so on your computer, say you go to Google Chrome or whatever and go download an APK file, you can upload it and install it on this. Um, we have a reboot, we have a script record, a video record, multiplayer, and um, you know we have other functions that you can add to this list such as uh, controller configuration, two finger control, um, mute, close application, and that's pretty much it. So I just wanted to show you this really cool Android emulator. I thought it was definitely interesting. It's something I will use for pretty much, pretty much ever from now on, uh, for app development and a lot of other things. So thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, like, subscribe. I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure to check out some of my other content. Um, but thanks for watching, guys, and uh, peace out.